Now, we're talking about uh, new powers for the Gardaí, for example, you know, house parties uh, and how they might be controlled, the powers that Gardaí might have to close a pub, to close a restaurant if they find a, a breach. But the Doyle's not sitting at the moment. No, it's not. And these powers will take time, Pat, because, as you know, the House is protected. Um, you know, the Attorney General is going to be very involved to make sure that the powers are robust enough. So, um, but the Gardaí do have some limited powers. They can use public order offences. But, Pat, please, we are in the middle of a pandemic. Should they need to use those powers? And that is why we have to restrict the numbers of people going to houses because of the incidents of house parties and the number of clusters associated with house parties over the last number of weeks. You know, you had a discussion with Killian de Gascoigne about being able to trace uh, clusters and outbreaks, and the science allows us to do that, and we have seen the figures around house parties. Um, but it's also, in restaurants and in pubs, the very vast majority of those that are actually fortunate enough to be open are complying, are doing their level best. What we saw over the weekend is a very small minority. Um, and, you know, that's the kind of thing we want to stop out. But we have to recognise... We saw the, the D2, majority. the Berlin... We saw the Berlin D2 uh, yeah, situation. Yeah, we didn't see the 95% of other restaurants uh, no, no, and bar no, services but, I mean, that are operating people, within the guidelines and what operating people wanted incredibly to, safely. What people wanted to see was that place shut down. You know, that end of... I mean, one of the offences under the licensing laws is running a disorderly house. That uh, WhatsApp video that we all saw, or TikTok, wherever you saw it, showed a disorderly house. End of. Close. Yes, but the guards uh, and, you know, the, the lawyers will make a call on what exactly that power has. There are also powers open to Gardaí to object to licences being renewed in district courts. Um, that is still available to, to them wait. as well. So there Do you know what I mean? Weapons That's not the, the power that people want. You know, the people want to see action straight away. They want to see the Gardaí going. This idea that they would have to go to a judge now, maybe we'll have a night court, but you get a, an address in whatever part of the country it is, there's a house party going on, there are 40 people in the front garden, back garden, or 100 people, whatever. Um, they would have to get a search warrant to go into that house and do what they need to do. I mean, is it proposed that you'll have a, a judge who'll be available for that kind of thing 24-7? Well, that's what the Attorney General is going to work through, because, as you know, Pat, as I said to you, there are constitutional protections around houses and around private property, and all of those have to be dealt with. I agree. I would like to have seen those powers available, but I want to see them available uh, in a way that cannot be challenged and that they cannot be undermined. So they need to be, when they are available, they need to be robust, and that's the work that's underway with the Attorney General and Minister McIntyre at the moment. So we'll have a, we'll have a vaccine by the time you guys get round to it? No, uh, this is a priority, Bass.